know that setting up cloud environments can be challenging. That's why PyCharm 2025.1 introduces Cadence, a seamless way to run ML workflows in the cloud directly from your IDE. No complex setup required, no cloud expertise needed, just uninterrupted focus on coding. Let's see Cadence in action, shall we? In this project, we are performing LoRa fine-tuning on the Mistral 7B language model using the UltraChat dataset. The fine-tuning process updates only a small subset of parameters within key attention layers, significantly reducing training overhead while preserving model performance. Then, input conversations are formatted in a structured user assistant format, and training is conducted on a small subset of the dataset to validate the setup. Normally, you'd right-click your Python file and run it locally. That is simple, but not efficient. Training and fine-tuning your models on your local machine, in our case, on our CPU, works fine for small projects, but in real-world scenarios, we often deal with much larger datasets and rely on cloud configurations. That's where Cadence comes in. First, go to Settings, Plugins, and search for JetBrains Cadence. Once installed, you should sign up and you'll receive $30 in welcome credits. Then go to JetBrains Cadence, click Execute, and import your PI file. JetBrains Cadence will automatically set parameters in the General, Environment, and Project Sync sections. You can modify the execution name and working directly if you like. I opted for something descriptive and named it Cadence H100 One GPU. Next comes the fun part. Choose the GPU type you want to train your model on. On the right, you'll see the cost for each option. For this tutorial, I'm selecting the single GPU H100, which is more than enough for my small model. If you're working with very large models, you can opt for something like 8 GPUs on H100 for more power. In the Project Sync section, you can create a new storage connection. At the moment, Cadence supports only S3 storage. Just fill in your access data. Or you can use the default option, Cadence Storage. Then choose your environment. I'll leave the default options here. If you select Docker, simply specify your Docker image. Please make sure your requirements file is properly configured. You can also specify environment variables if needed. In this demo, we need the Hugging Face API key, so I'll go ahead and add it under Secrets Variables. In the Data Parameter section, specify the output location for your execution results. Then click Add. Under Actions, select Remotely Upload after execution. In the Source field, specify the output directory, in our case Outputs, which will contain the training results. For target, I'll leave the default Cadence storage, which is provided by the service, but you can configure your own S3 storage to work with Cadence as necessary. Click OK to save the output location settings and close the dialog. For more details about the data parameter section, refer to environment. In the new execution dialog, click Execute to launch. Clicking on the execution lets you see all the details. You can monitor the execution status here. It might take a moment to allocate resources, so don't worry if your execution status shows as queued for a minute or two. Once the status is running, you can view logs in real time. And when it's finished, click the download button, choose the data you want to download from S3, select the output and download your execution results. If you open the outputs folder as specified before, you'll find the results of the LoRa fine-tuning process, including the trained adapter weights, the LoRa configuration, tokenizer files, and other metadata commonly generated during fine-tuning. As you've seen in this tutorial, Cadence makes the process easy, intuitive, and straightforward. Your code runs as is, no need to rewrite scripts or refactor anything. You pay only for what you use, and the process is transparent. To the right of each execution, you'll see real-time cost details, keeping you fully informed of how much everything costs. Cadence also supports team collaboration. You can share runs with your teammates, 
reuse each other's executions, and even manage everything through a single shared wallet, making teamwork smoother and more efficient. And for debugging, no worries, Cadence fully integrates with PyCharm's terminal and debugger, so you can set breakpoints and troubleshoot remotely, just like you would locally. When you're done, you can easily check or rerun fast experiments with a single click, ensuring reliable and reproducible results. And ignore my failed experiments, I take full responsibility for those. I may or may not have messed up my code on the first tries. So, if you're tired of juggling cloud configurations and want to save yourself some headaches, Cadence is your new best friend. Try it out now for free. Put those welcome credits to good use. You won't be disappointed.